So just before the video does start, just a quick little ad on a uh, trading service I offer over on Twitch. I do daily trading guides including loads of price sheets for special card trading, silver trading and so on and so on. And you get them daily over there for £5 a month or free with Amazon Prime. Yo, what's up guys and welcome to a brand new video. And in today's video we are going to be talking about the Bundesliga team of the season and investments you guys can go and make for these. So... As of recently, the Bundesliga team season has been leaked that it is coming out. And uh, how do we know that? That is because of the guys who are renowned for leaking stuff. Uh, most of them have come out and said that the Bundesliga is next. I'm going to find his tweet right now. Uh, this was tweeted uh, yesterday. Uh, and if we can go and find it right here. There we go. So, as of uh, as you've seen, the uh, seen Bundesliga to be the next team of season so far. And again, likewise, we can go and check this guy. Both of these guys are very renowned for dropping leaks and, uh, you know, very, very consistent. And we'll be able to go and find that yesterday, once again, he tweeted that, um, there we go. I hear Friday, uh, I hear this Friday, a day before it returns to football, it returns. And again, a picture of the Bundesliga team season so far. So, how can you utilise knowing that the Bundesliga is going to be the next team of season? You can go and make a bunch of investments and... Here is the first set of investments I'd recommend. They are players that um, should be getting team of seasons and at the same time are very, very good at either SBC fodder or league SBC fodder. Now, obviously this is not leaked to be the team. This is a predicted team uh, going off of, um, I don't know, people, people in my Twitch chat's common opinion uh, and I guess who has a bunch of special cards this year, but obviously it's not mad. You know, there doesn't, there doesn't have to be correlation between special cards and team, people getting team of seasons. But uh, here is the squad we've got for you. Uh, I'll walk you through the investments. There's loads and loads of investments. So we'll start off with the first set of investments. And these are going to be players that hopefully hit team of the uh, team of the season. So let's start off here with Gnabry. Gnabry is really good. Obviously offers good chem for, you know, SBCs need high rating and high chem. Uh, I guess actually one sec. Before we do this, I'll go and show you how well these investments do. So on the Premier League, who was a player that was nine packs? That was Mr. Andy Robertson. Uh, Robertson is, I guess, both used, um, both used in game uh, and used in SBCs due to being, you get, you know, he got quite cheap as such uh, to the extent where he could be used in SBCs. And if we go and have a little look how that went, he went out of packs on what would have been, would have been a Friday. So I believe he would have gone out of packs this Friday, if I'm not wrong. Um, yeah. Would have been to buy him on the Thursday. That's him going out of packs on Friday. Uh, if I'm not wrong, what is it? Let me just double check. So, last Friday is when they would have been back in, uh, back in packs. And that would have been the 8th. So, yeah, it would have been between the 1st and the 8th is when he was in packs. So, this is when he went out of packs. And this was one week after. So, out of packs on the 20th. Uh, back in packs on the 20, sorry, on the 8th. Um, and as you can see, there is a 7k rise because of fodder. Another example we can use is De Jong, uh, a player of this week. Obviously, De Jong's not been in packs all week, but he's been, but he's been used in SBCs. And again, we can go and show you this right here. De Jong, again, would have gone out of packs on the Friday. That would have been that. So we went out of packs at 10k, and uh, right now he's up to th about 13.5k. So it's not a bad return on investment right there. So... Just showing you guys, Fodder can do very, very well out of packs. Obviously, if you guys don't know, you've got well-demanded players, who do, well -demanded players who do very well out of packs. Van Dyke absolutely banged. He banged last year, so it was a relatively easy call to see who's going to ban this year. But look at that. Uh, once again, out of packs on the first, 275. And then one week later, generally up over 100k in one week. So these out of pack players, uh, players that get team scenes are crazy, crazy investments. So let's go and walk you through this team I've got to build or play so I think we'll get team seasons. And they're not bad investments, and I'll walk you through them uh, and why they're good. So, start off here with Serge Gnabry. Uh, about 5.5k for both Xbox and PlayStation. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm not too toned up on the PC market, but obviously if they're not crazily inflated, not bad of a buy. Uh, Gnabry obviously offers very high chemistry. On top of that, he's a Bayern Munich player. The Bayern Munich League SBC does need five players from Bayern Munich, which he can be used in, so he should go up for that. But then come to Werner. Werner, if I'm not wrong, is actually one of the cheapest 86s. Uh, I'm going to show you this right here. 86s. Well, he's 17k and the cheapest one's 15k. So he's not far off being one of the cheapest 86s. Uh, on top of that, obviously, he's a well-demanded player. Um, you know, for objectives, let's say, as such. So 
You've got him for that. Uh, then we head over to Haaland. Again, Haaland is the only striker for Dortmund. So, again, could get a... Well, could be using the league SBCs. On top of that, he's a relatively cheap and popular player. So, objectives he could be used for. On top of that, you've got the... Uh, which is an investment I'll get into in a set. It's just rare Bundesliga players. I expect rare Bundesliga players to be hitting 2.5 to potentially 3k during the week. Almost as popular as Prem. Because I'd say after the Prem... The, um, the Bundesliga is going to be second uh, favourite to be the most popular. Now, here's an interesting thing. Let's see how the La Liga has done this week. Now, La Liga, I'd say, is way, way less popular than the Prem in terms of, um, in terms of uh, people doing the uh, upgrade packs. And yeah, I mean, these got up to about 2k, so I definitely expect it's probably about 2.5k coming from the likes of that. So you can go and invest him at 1.6k. He could not be in packs. Here's an interesting player to go and check out. Son so you, I never say this guy. Pikachu, whatever he's called. Obviously, this guy is a rare gold card that was out of packs, and obviously a lot of people using him in upgrades. And we see he went all, all the way up there to 3k. Uh, so, Carver Hammer right there for 1.6. I'd even say up to 2.2. As far as 2.5 on both consoles wouldn't be bad. We then get to Lewandowski. Um, obviously, an 89 rated player. Let's have a look, look at what the cheapest 89 rated player on the market is. Just so we can compare what is he in comparison to, to on the cheapest. Uh, 42, it's okay, I mean, obviously we're looking at goalkeeper, bad league, uh, you know, not the most linkable, so 42 wouldn't be too bad for, uh, Lewandowski, um, so it wouldn't be too bad. Uh, then head over to Royce as an 88 rated, again, 35 wouldn't be the end of the world, of course he's used for league SBC, so, yep, 35's not bad. Sancho, 5.2k for Sancho's good, again, not using his league SBC, but used in SBCs need high rating, high chem, also could be good for objectives. And Cuckoo, a really interesting thing about fee threads, I, I, I kind of repeat this a lot, non-rares are rarer than rares. So, and, and Cuckoo could hit about 2 3k this time next week because being used in, well, his league SBC, being used in the generic SBCs during the week where they want Bundesliga players, and being used in advanced SBCs that want uh, one nation and lots of leagues. Then under, under, head underway with Kimmich. Kimmich is actually the player I want to put a few million coins into because I think he'll do very well. He's an expensive investment, so I don't have to go and buy too many of a player. But uh, yeah, Kimmich, an amazing investment, probably up to about 26k. Obviously, it offers very high chem, very high rating, uh, so it should be good. Alfonso Davies, uh, once again, used to the Bayern Munich League SBC. On top of that, if he has a really hyped up team of season card, you could see a bit of weird demand for his silver card. Maybe people wanting to try silver card if his Bundes League is madly expensive. They got Hakimi again. Hakimi up to like 3.5 isn't too bad. Obviously, offers high rating and high chem. League SBC, he's not amazing because you've got Pizcek. But uh, offers high rating and high chem. Neuer, uh, again, I think we checked with the Royce. He's one of the cheapest 88s. Decent chance hitting team of the um, season so far. Havertz up to about 4.5k. Once again, just SVC fodder. Kostic, pretty decent. Uh, pay up to 2k for him. Again, SVC fodder. Volen, 2k for him. Um, the Leverkusen League SBC, which again, you're going to understand a lot of people can be doing League SBC. Uh, required two strikers. And he's one of only three strikers they have. Uh, with the third being a... The second being a golden on rare and the silver be, uh, third being a silver. So he'll do really well for that. On top of that, he's obviously offering a little bit of rating. Hazard up to 2.5k, maybe even 3k. Once again, used for league SBCs and offers high rating, high chem. Sommer, actually quite interesting. He's used for his league SBC as well. Because um, I think the other goalkeepers are silver as such. But again, and obviously offers high chem, high rating. Trimmel, very useful for his league SBC. We're expecting Union players and uh, Paddenborn players to do extremely, extremely well anyway. Uh, which is, again, another investment. So I'll get onto it a bit. Um, but he's obviously offers that. Muller, yep, offers high rating, high chem. Um, oh yeah, sorry, Trimble, you pay up to like 5k, 6k. Sommer, pay up to like 3 3k, sorry. Uh, Muller, once again, let's have a look at what the cheapest 86 is. I don't believe he's far off if I'm not wrong. Where is he? Somewhere like that. Yeah, six, 16, 17k for Muller works. Uh, and then, is that me done? And then you got Matthias Tuna again, you pay a k for him. Just your league SBC player. So, first investment is the players who will actually get a team of season. Second investment, uh, I think it'd only be fair to say, Bundesliga rare players. Now, there is method to the madness when you're investing in these players. Don't invest in any old players. What you're looking to invest in is you're looking to invest in left backs, right backs, centre backs, left wings and right wings. And players who are very, very useful for the league SBC. So for an example on this, I'd say Hausenberg for 1k, I'd even say up to 1.2k, is a brilliant investment. He's very useful for his league SBC. Um... Yeah, he's very useful for his league SC. He also might be hitting a team of the season. 
Um, and of course, he's a left back, which is a position where they're rarer. Another good investment would be here at Aguirre's. He's an 83 rated. He offers good chem and good rating for an SBC. And he's, again, the same price as the plebs. Uh, likewise with Kramick, again, offers good rating, but he's the same price as the plebs. Uh, let me go for a list right here, because I'm quite toned up with the SBC. Kunate, very good at 1.2k. Um, who else have we got? Sahin's not amazingly useful. Delaney at 1.3, could also be here in the team of season. Uh, Klossman at 1.3, again, ideally getting them for 1.2. Uh, Gertzer at 1.2 is not bad. Anyone in, anyone else? So I'm pretty toned up with who's, uh, who's used. Uh, Skov at 1.2 would be good. Poulton at 1.2 is good. He's used for his league SBC. Stark at 1.2k would be good. Ak uh, Pongma for 1.2 would be good. Philip Max for 1.2 would be good. Ad Makano for 1.2 is not bad. Zagadu, Bender. Who else have we got? Obviously, Kevin Vol. We can see that. Kevin Volland, amazing. Uh, Demirabe, very good at 1.2. Uh, what else do we have? Again, right mids. So really, it's just defenders and left mids, right mids for 1.2k. So there is your second investment. What should we bring as the third investment then? I guess players that are used for the league SBC. Now, this is very, very easy to do. Uh, we've got marking matchups obviously coming out tonight, so that gives you a nice little investing opportunity. So, let's have a little look at the Bundesliga SBC. Now, I do, I'll be honest with you, I do give or take note all the expensive players for this, but I'll like, go for the teams one by one by one. So, with mains, you are looking to invest in the centre silver centre backs, silver cans, bronze centre mids, and silver defenders. Dortmund, not too much. Uh, Dusseldorf, you're looking at investing in the back line and the right mid strikers, CDMs and centre mids, all being bronze and silver. Osberg, you're looking for their cam centre mid and CDM. Bayern Munich, you're looking for any of the silvers. Frankfurt, you're looking for their left back. Cologne, you're looking for their centre back, right back and silver cam. Uh, who else have we got? Paddenborn, obviously you're looking for the whole back line. Um, you can even look at the left wings, CDMs, centre mid, strikers. Are there any positions in Paddenborn you're not looking for? That's the real question. Uh, nothing really there, nothing there, nothing there. Uh, Berlin, right back, left back, centre back, CDM, centre mid, cam, strikers. You're looking for all of them. Wolfsburg, left and right backs. And I think that's about all she wrote. So looking at the silver and bronzes for them. Look at picking them up after marking matchups tonight. Um, should be a good play. And I'm trying to think if there is too much more. Is there too much more? We've, so we've covered the team. We've covered gold rares. We've covered... Ah! Yes, comparable players. So, basically, when these teams drop, um, people panic sell cards. So, for example, this week, people would have panic sold this Varane. Because they'd be like, oh, there's a new Varane. But, this Varane was way, way, way cheaper than the team of season. So... Hopefully, if it goes and fits my agenda, he should have risen once it uh, came out. Let's see. Uh, basically, there you go. No, nothing crazy there. Maybe these will be a better example. Let's see if these had a better rise. But you did see the rise right there. Yes, there you go. Way sharper of a rise. So, you've got the Thursday. And then, obviously, team of season Varane comes out. And people go, wow, Varane is 1.6 million. I only have 300k. Damn, I can't afford team of season Varane. What a surprise. And they're like, okay, let me go and buy Inform Varane then. Well, they went and sold the Varane at 309. Another girl go and buy the Varane back for 350. So basically, what you're going to be looking for is you are going to be looking for players who, one, you're, where there's ideally a lack of team of seasons. Because if there's a lack of team of seasons in a certain position, for example, centre backs, there was Varane, Ramos, and Carlos, all were like 700k plus. Therefore, the cheaper of the uh, La Liga centre backs did well. And two, again, if a team of seasons card is going to be way, way more expensive than the special card. So, let's have a little look in the Bundesliga right now. And let's go and talk about... Actually, this is... Yeah, it's, it'll work. But we're going to talk about uh, what you could go invest in if there's a lack of team scenes in a certain position. So, let's say there's a lack of Bundesliga right-backs. You would go invest in Danny DeCosta's foot birthday. I doubt there will be, though, with the likes of Kimmich. But he could be played as a CDM um, and the likes of uh, Hakimi. But if there is no Bundesliga right-backs, you'd go and invest in Danny DeCosta. Again, you only really invest in these when the team gets leaked. Left backs, you're not going in anything. There's both Alfonso Davies and um, Alaba and potentially a Hasselberg. So I probably wouldn't look, like the looks of left backs. But if, if we don't get good left backs, which is, again, extremely unlikely. Uh, Nico Schools, uh, Alaba, Wendell. I think that's all she wrote. Uh, centre backs, here's a massive one. If Mukulele does not get back in it. Definitely go and invest in Mukulele. Uh, the invest the centre backs people think might get in it might be Upper Makano and Hummels. Uh, obviously, I think Mukulele, other than Upper Makano, is more favourable. 
Um, if not, again, if we don't get any good centre backs, or if the centre backs are really expensive or, or they're trash, you'd go. Which has been a trend at the moment because we've only had we had Varane, Ramos, Carlos, super expensive, and then with the Premier League, had Sonia Chu and Van Dijk. So obviously, Premier League centre backs did really well, and so did the Liga ones. Uh, but yeah, again, you'd go invest in the likes of uh, Mukhelele, uh Kabak, uh, Hernandez, Alaba. Um, but that's all she wrote. Uh, let's go to the next position. Let's say there's not going to be a lack of... There's never a lack of central players. Although if Thiago doesn't make it in there again, do feel free to invest in him. Left wings, if there are a lack of good left wings, you'd be looking at the likes of Coman's road to the final. Uh, they're not amazing right here. Gnabry's uh, man of the match card. Uh, potentially even Sancho's team of the week card. It's a bit cheap. Maybe Coutinho's special cards as well. Um, but that's, a, that's about it. Yep. Uh, now heading over to right wings, uh, which there really could be a lack of because I, I don't think... I guess unless Sancho gets a right wing card, but again, right wings, you'd be going with the likes of Sancho to invest in, Rashika to invest in, Gnabry to invest in. There really aren't expensive right wings, which is kind of crazy. And that's about, once again, all she wrote. And then strikers, I, I think it's quite likely we get some cheap strikers, but let's say there are no cheap strikers or whatever. Or if Haaland doesn't get a team in the season, you can invest in this future star Haaland. Relatively rare card, actually. Um, but yeah, again, you can look at Lewandowski, Haaland, but we're quite likely to get a lot of strikers, so that's irrelevant. Uh, what are we saying? So that's if there's a lack of a player in a certain position. Uh, now what we can do is look at this squad and look at previous informed cards and just see if that's likely to be way cheaper. So Werner obviously is someone who's highly likely to get a team in season, but how much is his headliner? 260 or 86k for this inform. So let's say Werner's uh, team in season came out. Let's say it's like uh, let's say it's like Vardy esque. It's one million coins. Well then, people with not much of a budget will go back to this one or this one. I would prefer this one because it's, it's extremely cheap. 90k is uh, is so, so cheap for him. But uh, yeah, and he's pretty, pretty cheap right now. So I'd say, let's say there is a Werner. Werner's super expensive. There's no other cards like this one. Let's say Lewandowski's dropped. But again, Lewandowski's madly expensive. Then you can expect to see uh, the older versions of these guys' cards. So the older Werner's and the older uh, Lewandowski's to uh, rise a little bit more. Um, again, with Sancho, I there's no way Sancho is... <laughs> There's no way this card's not going to be like a million plus because he's such a hyped up player. So what you can do is you go invest in this Sancho because people want Sancho and can't afford the 1 million coin card. We'll go and buy his road to final card. And obviously Sancho is a very, very hyped up player and people would want to use him. But again, his other cards are likely to be very expensive. Uh, likewise with these informs. These inform Sancho's are so, so cheap. Look, 30k, 40k, and then 84. And again, they're down uh, most recently because of the guaranteed team of the week pack. So... I, I generally think these are very risk-free to invest in because we can always guarantee that his team season is going to be so, so expensive. Um, yeah, these cards are so, so cheap. Let's have a look. Anyone else who's got one? Uh, Neuer's cards aren't. All goalkeepers have been super cheap as of, you know, this FIFA. Kai Havertz's foot birthday card's quite expensive and it didn't get a big upgrade, so that could get completely outdone. Hazard isn't crazily high. Maybe look at the likes of Royce. What are his special cards looking like? Mm, I don't think that looks amazing. That's not bad. 100k. That's also down with the team of wee packs, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, definitely. But there you go. There's uh, another one you can go over. Royce, obviously, his team seems likely to be, you know, what, 1 mil, 1, one to 2 mil? Well, that inform card, once again, is only 115k. That card would rise, um, you know, once his team is once his team of season is super expensive. So, I think that is us exhausted on, uh, on investments. As you can see, there is so, so much to invest in. And bear in mind, we're like, Still uh, about 20, 28 hours, 30 hours before this team actually comes out. There is loads and loads and loads and loads of stuff to invest in. So hopefully this video has helped you guys with investment. Um, thank you very much for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video.